Hello Coastface family, I'm Jinwon from South Korea. Actually, now Korea, now in Korea, a typhoon has arrived, so it's raining outside. Anyway, nice to meet you, nice to see you guys again, and I hope you guys seeing this video and learn something from me. Okay, let me introduce again. My name is Jinon Lee, and I'm from South Korea. And this is my school, the name is Bugok High School. The RoboCup experience is... I, I participated in Korea RoboCup Open and Nagoya Championship in 2017, Japan. And all of the RCAP. I participated in Thailand, Dubai, China and Russia. And this picture is from the Russia RCAP, the last year. Uh, this looks so weird, right? But I have to protect the portrait right of my friend, so I blanked it. <laughs> it's weird. It's so weird. From now on, I will introduce my learning experience. The first question is, what have you learned using Cospace Robot? Uh, my answer is, before I started studying Cospace Rescue, I even didn't know how to use C language and what is tri trigonometric function. However, now I'm get used to using C and some math concepts that I studied for, studied for Cospace Rescue. Uh, maybe Arctangent? is the great example of the math concepts that I get from the Cospace. The second question is, what have you gained through the ICO challenge? Yeah, the biggest thing I got, I gained through the ICO challenge is that is the opportunity to study C language and Cospace rescue algorithms with my school friends. Yeah. It, it was a very big opportunity for me. There's no time to study uh, study with my friends, so it was nice time. I, ha I had a nice time with them. And the third question. After viewing the sharing videos on RCAP Academy YouTube channel, which participants are you most interested in learning from? Uh, actually, I couldn't watch all of the videos. However, I'm interested in him though. The ID number is AU7001 who was in Cospace Rescue U19, U19 League. Uh, his name was Ray Sun. And the fourth question is like is that the reason why I chose him, right? Uh, because I've never thought to use pathfinding algori algorithms like Dijkstra, Greedy on Cospace Rescue. It's totally different from me. He gave me ideas to make new algorithms. Yeah, it's really important. Important, I think we should imitate first to make our own things and develop our things. And the last question, how are you going to share your knowledge on robotics and AI with others? Actually, I made a robotics club in my school to share my knowledge and experience with students who are interested in robotics and engineering, however, who can't experience like me. I want to share with them. So, so I made a robotics club. Also, we study Cospace with our own guide. I made that. From now on, the topic is changed. The game and stretches.
so it's it's about my algorithms yeah I summarized my main algorithms of my cospace rescue first step is set points and second is make a route by connecting the points orderly and third is find and set some cases when you can pass some route and fourth parallel translate the route keep the shape of the route and just moving the a little position like I can show you an example this is the example yeah can you see the roots on the side uh, on the picture I made I draw I drew this one this challenge on this challenge yeah the the circle the circle one is the point each point and the line is the the line can be the root yeah to move like previous one I have to set the robot like this the standard is destination where the robot have to go and the robots front direction is the standard it means the if the robot sees the destination right 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 uh, the degree returns the robot returns the zero degree and if the destination is on the robot's right side right side then the plus degree will return will be returned and if the destination is on the left side the minus degree will the, will be returned so the robot will turn right or left according to the value of degree look at this video and see the how the robot moves the blue one is my robot so the first the first destination is here and second is here when the robot reaches here the destination becomes here so robot will see the this line so it's the robot's left side the destination is on the robot's left side right so the robot would turn left let's see when the robot reaches the original destination the destination would be changed to the next one so the robot moves like this it follows the route that i set for the first time i don't know it follows the route that i set yeah, it's all but there was a serious problem to my algorithm it's signal block zone when signal block zone appears on the set point robot can't go to the next process or next point or next destination yeah i will show you the example video it's also my video the blue robot is mine see that see that the robot re repeat again and again because the set point is here but the can you see that signal block zone is here so robot can't recognize the position of the set point so robot goes here and here and here and here repeat yeah this is the problem to solve this problem i made two things the first one is count when the count is count is over the standard the robot would go next point and the second one is don't use 0 comma 0 position i don't use 0 comma 0 by not saving the 0 comma 0 so can you see the video this is the continuous video of pro previous one the blue one is mine the robot repeated but the count is over over the standard so the robot successfully escaped the repeated one yeah so with this pro with this program the robot can go successfully all the routes thank you for watching my video and i hope you guys have something 
new or something learned from my video yeah thank you again